Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. Today we're going to continue our Saving Your Disaster campaign, The Advent Lockdown. It is episode number 14 and we are um, tr still trying to do our guerrilla ops missions, believe it or not. Um, this time to get another scientist that actually would be quite helpful. We are requiring to sabotage a transmitter and there are not only a lot of losts in here, that's probably something else because elsewise it wouldn't be a very difficult mission. I purchased a new rookie and congratulations uh, you got um, Roby from my character pool so might uh, look like a rookie but he I trust me he has done so many runs that at this point Roby counts like a, a real um, a real soldier even if he's only coming in at his rookie that's why we're just fielding whomever is ready at this point since i think we're going to fight against the warlock i took both of our mind shields with us a lot of uh, the anti uh, mm, vehicular uh, mm, uh, grenades and ammunition and other than that let's just jump right into the mission i hope uh, that we can sabotage the transmitter and do this more or less flawlessly Okay, we have just landed. First time that we have the psionic with us because we were running out of manpower. Might as well use him. With his schism, uh, he will be able to protect us from any mental effects, which is great. Six rounds until the network separates, however, on the other hand, is quite the opposite of great. It is a problem. Good. Moving up. Objective sighted. And I'm going to take a risk here. Very nice. That worked out beautiful. So with that, how about we're moving everyone else? forward aggressively. One thing that I've learned with those uh, device missions is you really got to speed it up at the beginning, elsewise you fall behind and it's very hard to come back from that. Sniper moves up here mainly because I want to take the high ground uh, very soon-ish. And Fatal, I would leave him up here. He can always grapple further. There's no point in moving him down. We got between the eyes, so... Technically, we should be fine. Question that I'm asking myself is how long should we wait until we show ourselves? Um, let's just use Roby here. Rolling. To kick it off. Wow, that is bad. Anyways, they will come. Uh, they will come closer. Just a quick uh, kill to get more network time. And this here should be working very well for us. Good, before we're hitting any of those, uh, let's start with the losts. Uh, 
I just realized we do not have between the eyes, which is unfortunate to say the least. All right, um, in order to finish this here, I'm actually going to face off. So far we've been incredibly lucky with our shots. Oh, we do have between the eyes. Yeah, I shouldn't have worried then. Playing so many different campaigns uh, that for a moment I just didn't uh, fully remember whether or not we had between the eyes. Given that we do have between the eyes, I wouldn't have needed to use that cooldown. Pitbull moves over. Hayes moves over. And Scorch moves a little bit closer. Yeah, if it's really just lost, then this mission is definitely not, not at the slightest, very difficult. But we're going to see whether or not the Warlock shows up. Yeah, we, we can just stay here for now. More loss. Okay, yeah, easy. And no Warlock, uh, which kind of makes me suspicious how that mission rating ever moved up to very difficult. This is pretty much the exact opposite of last mission, where we had a really difficult mission. This here is pretty much walk in the park. Good, let's move up. And if there's really no Warlock, then I see also no reason why we can't just advance. Don't really need uh, cover if it's only the Lost. Nine turns is plenty to get to the uh, generator. This is really just loss and nothing but <laughs> phenomenal. I think the Void Rift does not destroy the walls. But it creates a kill zone. One which, by the way, does not trigger additional loss. Got it. Moving to position. 
Well, seems as if that's probably the easiest mission in that entire run. More losses are coming in. And it really doesn't matter how many, if we do have a weapon without, un uh, with uh, quasi unlimited ammunition. Well, let's make sure we're leveling Roby up, because this here is a perfect opportunity for Rookie. <clears throat> Roby, I was praising you. Good. We're giving. We're giving the ones that do normally not have enough experience all of the kills. He does not need experience and we can pretty much stand in the open. There is no point in hiding against the lost. Well, yeah, I was really expecting that we would run into more enemies than just the Horde. Horde is not particular threat, uh, threatening if you do have between the eyes. Yeah, overwatch and move in and overwatch. Getting it done. Pitbull moves up. We're moving up as well. Comet presence and let's plant the C4. There we go, mission done. Well, that was rather easy. I'm almost disappointed to upload that as um, as one of the missions, but here we go. I mean, that worked out well. 28 kills, flawless, done. I wouldn't say that that was particularly difficult. Um, but yeah, it gives us hope because if those are some of the missions that you can run into, then I'm pretty sure that this campaign is soon to be saved. And here we go. Let's see, did we get a promotion? Oh yeah, Roby got a promotion, wonderful. Specialist, that is what I would have selected if I would have been in charge. Got a new scientist, uh, which means the research is um, increasing and since you need a lot of research my friend you uh, might want to use uh, that Roby is the perfect addition for the team having another specialist is exactly what that team needs Most of our new recruits have never worked in close quarters like the Avenger. Before the war, we good time, but now let's see 
We should now slowly prepare for the actual last mission. We don't need intel, thank you. Facility lead is okay. Increased regional income wouldn't be bad either, but we're okay on the um, on the income side. Might as well heal faster for now, just so that I can do the last mission. And I mean, from now on, it's really about getting intel and money. Stasis shield is good. Soul steel isn't bad either. I think we're going for soul steel. Still no mind control for him, which is unfortunate. Superior Perception is fantastic, it's one of the best rewards that you could uh, gain, and another uh, another promotion. Health, Mobility, Willpower, Dodge, Aim, yet another promotion. He is a captain, might as well continue promoting him. All the way. And let's put him uh, on there together with um, John. Let's make sure that they're not getting injured as well. Yet another promotion plus Intel. The Intel isn't the biggest part uh, the promotion is. So that we get that um, Colonel Grenadier going. Hundred and thirty intel, that's fantastic. We're at two hundred eighty now. Could get a facility lead for one day. Um you know I'll do that even because A we have enough intel and B that'll give you another out um if you need to um fight Edwin going forward. Facility leads for those who are unsure or don't don't know about it currently we have one facility here it'll give us access to another facility um, which is okay for 50 intel um, in this situation it basically gives another um, uh, option to reduce uh, the progress bar that's okay this here is getting a bit um, concerning and we're going to kill him so that's no longer a problem we're trying to prevent that from happening loyalty among thieves is not a huge issue and considering all of the other things that we're currently doing Let's put this one in here because uh, that allows you to retaliate very nicely against uh, codices. Uh, if they cast uh, their sounding bomb on you, they usually kill themselves with it. Another uh, application is um, basically anyone who casts uh, will deal damage to them. 10% experience are fine for now. We're almost at the point uh, where we have enough soldiers. There are the supplies that I was looking for, uh, which will give us at least one more weapon upgrade. And then we should be ready for the last mission. Sort of. Our inspiration did prove there is the facility lead uh, to the facility in Brazil. So enjoy that. And now, in terms of most important, I would uh, pro probably go for the sector port first. That will uh, give you the highest, um, the highest drones for the specialists, and uh, they are extremely useful. So, Mark Three Gremlin drones. One, two, and three. That's good. Let us visit the black market and just see what else we can theoretically purchase because we still got 230 intel. More than we would need at this point. 
Um, expanded magazine is good. I like the superior speed. I like the superior perception. So we're going to spend 80 intel. Yes, it's a lot, but uh, we still got enough intel to make contact. Um, even considering the superior expanded magazine because it is very rare and very good. I'll buy it. It's pretty good for a couple of weapons. Good. So uh, let's outfit your guys uh, so that they will definitely not die. First things first, personal combat sims, uh, the sniper uh, gets the superior perception. Not even a question. Uh, Hogbite already has superior speed. Uh, Hayward has superior speed. Once Pitbull is done with his training, we're going to give him another superior perception as well. Uh, that will be in one day. Because uh, um, Grenadiers have really poor aim and having a better perception will certainly help him. Um, we got another superior speed as well. And Fatal has nothing, right? Uh. His movement is fine. He could benefit from the aim. He definitely could benefit from the superior expanded magazine, that's for sure. The repeater is good, the advanced hair trigger is better. As much as I hate to do that, but we're going to give him the ammunition that he needs so that he actually can take all of his shots. And since his aim is garbage as well, might as well give him the superior perception for now. You can always use the superior perception on uh, and, and get another one and superior speed on our scout. So now you do have a really, really solid first team, all colonels, mm, the lieutenants and almost another colonel here. So that is fine. We're going to wait um, until the next promotion kicks in and then we're going to do the next mission. Let's regain some of the intel that we just spent. Still fine on the intel department. Gotta spend the resources in order to improve the situation. There we go, 40 more intel by the way and another promotion. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we got a couple of things going for us here. Breakthrough refines all beam weapons, improving uh, their damage output by one. That is plasma plus one damage. Absolutely fantastic. That's number one priority because it makes your plasma weapons just so much better. Wow. And plus eight dodge on top of it. Hell yeah, that's good. A um, couple of other things you can recruit more. There are good rewards here. Uh, dodge is not bad. Um, if you want to go for that later. I would also consider, since there is another promotion, to actually, um, after finishing the Reaper, uh, after finishing the Breakthrough Research, to go for um, uh, the um, Warlock next. Uh, use the promotion to get the Grenadier to the highest level. And in terms of doing uh, this here, and having plus eight dodge, who can benefit from it? We are taking um, the colonels, uh, namely all of, uh, almost all of them, sharpshooter, a ranger, we're taking the grenadier, and the specialist, although they are tired. We're missing a high level specialist, that is, the original loss was very unfortunate. So Scorch is the closest thing to a high-level specialist that they do have. Uh, you might want to also 
um, just promote uh, Scourge even further. So we're definitely going in with uh, Scourge, uh, Grenadier, Ranger, Sharpshooter, and I would say on top of it, we're against whom are we fighting? We're fighting against uh, the... We're fighting against, um, I think, um, uh, the Hunter, right? Good, so Hunter, he was uh, taking additional damage from Reapers, which is perfect. That's what we're going to use. Not immune to melee, which is even better. So the decision has been taken the team that is going to infiltrate him um Commander, our ring facility is currently idle if we have the soldiers to spare we should yeah it's okay bradford thanks for action. letting us know um so let's upgrade the weapons first hey, a couple of things need to happen now build items weapons uh, i would like to go with the plasma uh, uh, rifle first Got 500 supplies, 240. Could go for beam cannon and celestial gauntlet. Hmm. That is a good option as well. I almost like that better because that's two upgrades and you just need to wait for the plasma lens. I think we're going to do that. So build items, weapon upgrades, beam cannon first. And next up we want the celestial gauntlet, which means we got to get around 70 um, supplies. Let's get that real quick. And then we're preparing for the last mission before this campaign is declared to be officially saved. So we're just going to take Galarium because they are currently very interested in it. And 10, um, 10 for one Galarium is a really good quota. Build items. Let's go for the Celestial Gauntlet, that's good. Plasma Lance is now missing the Illyrium and uh, the actual supplies. Okay, fair enough. Do we have anything else that we could do? 20 Illyrium, so we could sell 15 Illyrium and we could even upgrade uh, the weapon uh, of the Reaper. Let's try to do that. It might be a bit greedy, but um, might as well do that for the last mission so that I can hand over as much of uh, progress as possible for you. Chrysalid corpses can sell some. Purifier corpses, some mechs. We still need some uh, for our own um, production. Seven more. Yeah, I'll keep the sectoid corpses for mine shields. Let's sell the sectopod. That's good. 232, which is enough to upgrade the last weapon. There we go, Shadowlands, fantastic upgrade. We're down to zero Alarium and almost out of supplies. That's good um, because we do have all of uh, the weapons upgraded. Pitbull can be promoted. Uh, heavy Ordnance because we want um, more uh, grenades. Chain Shot isn't bad if he has a decent aim, which is why I said we want to give him aim. 
um, the additional grenade damage for now. You can always take chain shot uh, later. Salvo, absolute fantastic. Um, absolute fantastic. Chain shot is good for the sarcophagus, so we might want to um, think about that as well. Now, with uh, um, our preparation, uh, let's see if we can train some more abilities. Um, nothing here. Nothing here. Um, you know, the death from above for him is helpful. Having a good sniper never hurts. Good, that one is fine. If we missed anyone, yeah, okay. So, what else? He has covering fire. That's okay, I would say. 11 points. Kill zone is too expensive. Um, that's not bad. I like uh, holo targeting as well, and I also like chain shot. So, we could 13 and 10, that's 23. Uh, which we could do with him. The reason why I want to have chain shot is because you can deal more damage to the sarcophaguses and we're going to take him on this mission, so might as well invest in that. Good, I think we've used all of uh, the um, APs that we had available. Hogbite, I don't want to set up that bond yet. Maybe Hogbite uh, uh, gets to know Hayward better and they uh, can uh, start a bond. Now, in terms of resistance ring, breakthrough research by far the most important thing at the moment. Um, and you know, Pitbull could use dodge. That's it's not a bad idea. But before we do that, let's make sure that she does only have normal loadout. Exactly, not the mine shields and also not the blue screen rounds. We need that for the other team. So breakthrough research, absolute fantastic breakthrough, by the way. Pitbull and put a scientist in there, plus as an optional soldier, Roby. That's good. That's very good. Done deal. And now we're preparing for the last mission, which is going to happen in the next episode, guys. So. Uh, we are ready to infiltrate uh, this uh, chosen stronghold, which will be the finalization uh, of uh, the Saving the Disaster campaign. Uh, thank you so much for watching so far. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a like down below uh, or a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, it's an absolute uh, great time to do so. See you in the next mission, guys, when we're hopefully saving this disaster campaign. Bye-bye.